big night like you had in the Rose Bowl. Is that something you kind of feel in the practices leading up to the game or just kind of happens on game day? Uh, I mean, I feel like that I always could be able to do that, you know what I mean? I mean, since game one, I, I believed in myself that I could do that and was capable of doing that. And I was just given the opportunities to go and make those plays, so I went out there and just did what I did. I mean, when leading up to the UCLA game, did you see on film coverages by that secondary yeah. that you knew come Saturday that you could really expect? Yeah, for sure. I mean, they, they ran a lot of uh, cover one banjo, so I knew that I'd have a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups. So. I mean, you got to win your one-on-one -on -one matchups at the end of the day. So, that's. I mean, I, I looked at it on film and just knew that I mean, I should have a big game, you know what I mean? <laughs> when, you look, when you watch film of Stanford, what are, you, what are you seeing that sticks out to you about their defense? Yeah, I mean, they kind of run a lot of the similar stuff. They run a lot of cover one, too. So, um, I mean, it's going to be a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups again. You just got to win your battles, so. I mean, do you think their, their win against Oregon, did that really really grab your attention? I mean, are you really not trying to be too high after that UCLA uh, yeah. win? Do you think the fact that Stanford had such a big win themselves last Saturday really kind of helps you be focused yeah. and not complacent? I mean, I, I think it grabbed everybody's attention. But for me personally and our team, I think we're all still locked in on just taking that team one at a time, you know what I mean? We're not looking at them any different than we did the week before. We don't look at any other teams any different regarding what games that they played and how they played before. We just take that... And we look at, look at the film the same way as we do every other team and just go for our game plan. Do you think that um, your relationship with Jaden is finally hitting that, like you guys are finally hitting stride, being that you know offensive player of the week, you're finally hitting those big shots that you weren't maybe hitting earlier this season? Yeah, I think it just goes back to the summer, you know what I mean? Like all that work that me and him put in in the summer and we just were building that relationship the whole entire time over summer. And then obviously with practice, just continuing to build on that relationship and continue to dial in our routes and uh, timing. I mean, I think that was really important. But do you feel the comfort level is even like much different now than it was even like, I'd say at the end of full camp going into the season? I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, like I said, just going back, I mean, just building that relationship. I think that that's really what it was, is building that relationship and trust and knowing that, and having him know that I can go out there and make those plays and showing him that I can actually do it. And then, yeah, I mean, obviously that'll build trust if you can see your receiver doing that, so. What was the feeling like, Ricky, on those two big plays, you know, mm -hmm. coming up with your first 100-yard game yeah. in such a big game at the yeah. Rose Bowl like that? I mean, it felt good, but I expect that for myself. I have really high standards for myself. I expect myself to go out there every single game, every single practice and perform to that ability, you know what I mean? And even better. I mean, after the game, I look back at film and I even look back and said, oh, I can do this better, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, everybody looks at those uh, few plays that I had, but all those other plays I could have done something with as well. So I, I just go back and, I mean, I expect that for myself every game. What was your take on Coach Hill's game plan? I thought the game plan yeah. in general was terrific. Yeah, what it was were the fun. keys to getting it done? Yeah, I mean, his game plan was amazing. I think we all just dialed in on the game plan and just followed what he had to say. And then he actually hurt his back, so he had to go up in the box. I mean, that probably helped a little bit, but we, we like to joke around and be like, get back up in the box. But, yeah, it's gonna, being up there and seeing the whole entire field probably helped him a little bit. But we love having him on the field, though. So. What was the key? I mean, you were able to mix shots with the consistent ability to push on the running game. Yeah, I mean... I mean, we got we got Rashad and Chip. You know what I mean? They, they they like to stuff that box and try to stop them too. I mean, I think that's a lot of the defense's game plan is stopping our run because we're really, really successful in it. Then that just also opens up a lot of one on one matchups for the receivers. And at the end of the day, our job is to win us. So, I mean, obviously, you guys made a heck of a statement shutting them out in the second half. But I think uh, even in the first half, like it was like a it was like a boxing match. Like yeah, you know, they threw a punch, you're able to throw a punch back. Do you think you really? Send like an early statement to UCLA, maybe to yourselves, like you're going to be in this game. From yeah, start I, I mean, yeah, I think we did, but at the end of the day, we just kept telling each other, like, we got to go down and score, no matter what. Go down and score. That's our, that's our mindset every time. Every time we get in that huddle and we have to go out there, we're just telling each other, all right, let's go down and score. Let's get let's get this offensive drive going and get our momentum going because once we start clicking, I don't think anybody can stop us. What's the key? What do you see in Stanford? Some of the keys? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're a really experienced team. They're really physical. Um, they run a lot of similar stuff, a lot of cover one, and um, – so we're going to have a lot of opportunities to have those matchups again right, like we did. And, um, I mean, I'm just excited. When you, when you see that play call, Jaden Daniels almost almost at the goal line, thro throwing that big play to Curtis Hodges. I mean, we, we see yeah. the, we said it's like a really gutsy play, but, I mean, do you ever, like, even make a big deal out of it? Is that, is that the Zach Hill just doing Zach Hill stuff? Yeah, I mean, that's Zach Hill making that play call and then obviously us going out there because we're the players. we got to go out there and perform it. And um, I mean, just having that relationship. I mean, we, we, we got to have trust in each other. But when he makes that call, we got to go out there and perform it. We did. I mean, Curtis made a big catch. Jaden did a little scrambling to the right and, and extended play and did a good job and delivered to him. And I was just happy on the sideline cheering for him. <laughs>
<laughs> but obviously, when, when you have the running game that you have, I mean, Logic may be able to tell, okay, just like, you know, ground and pound, ground and pound, because it really didn't do a good job stopping you. But I mean, just to make that big play, I mean, do you think that's really a statement, you know, to drill yourself that it doesn't matter, you know, down the distance? I mean, sometimes you just got to go for the jugular? I mean, yeah, like how we were backed up on the goal line. I mean, I, that was just a really big momentum changer for that drive, getting a big chunk like that to Curtis. I mean, that everybody was probably on edge, like, oh, we got to get out of this uh, situation that we're in. And then Curtis was making that big time play. I mean, we all believe, though. We all have a lot of confidence going into that. Like, oh, we're going we're gonna to get out of here. You know what I mean? Let's, we, we didn't even have any down our mind. Going out there, we actually were like, all right, 99 yards, let's go. We're going to go down. 99 yards, touchdown. And then Curtis made that big play that just gave us a lot of confidence and momentum. I was laughing. I was cheering. You know what I mean? And just went out there and continued the drive and went down the score. So.